Hello everybody. This is my stolen item purchaser. Right now the title is most likely a placeholder because I am not creative enough to come up with a decent name. Anyways, what he does is he's, he buys stolen items off of thieves and other criminals. This is because sometimes when a thief steals an item, there's always a chance that the original owner of the item will log off and all of the items disappear. So what he can do is he can come here and sell it all to this guy if he worries that that's about to happen. And so he only talks to criminals and thieves and whatnot. So if you, you know, say you're just a citizen, as you can see in the bottom left, job is citizen. If you try to press E on him, he'll tell you to leave. But say I become a job like gangster, I can press E on him and it'll give me this menu which has all the stuff that he's willing to buy and the price what they look like and then the entity name which is unimportant anyway so he says drug lab for a thousand dollars so so I can put this near him press yes They'll drop the one thousand dollars. The next thing that's on his list is lightsaber. So I can do end to create. Okay, that's that's weird. Anyways, I guess maybe I shouldn't do that. I'll just spawn it from here instead. Okay, that that was nice. Anyways, yes, yeah, so I can press E on him. Press yes. And then it'll give me the money, which is ten thousand dollars. Next is gun lab for one thousand dollars. That's the one thousand dollars. And the next is money printer for five thousand. Nice. That's the money again. Nice. Lastly, bouncy ball, which I can get from here. Uh, where is it? Nice. It'll give me three hundred dollars for that. Anyway, so that's that. Um, oh right. If you try to cheat it by, let's say you have this, or let me get something less deadly. Actually, no, maybe this is a good idea. Let me say, you know, press yeah, I do, he gets up, right? But, and he's about to give the money, but if you just, yeah, if you pick up the item, he won't give you the money. It constantly checks to make sure that the item is still there before continuing. And then, if there is no item at all, nice. he won't do anything. Nice. 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 Okay, so... Uh, now what we can do is... Uh, so I can now show you the loading and saving feature. So... Let's say we want to place one here. Yeah, this is a nice dark place. This would be a good area. And then over here it's pretty dark as well, so we can put one here. Um where else? Maybe over here. And then we can go to console and type thief npc save and then it'll tell us how many thief npc locations there are and save them so there's three um, now other things that you can do is say like I move this one or I think I just forgot to disable damaging so I can probably kill it yeah so say I accidentally kill one of them for whatever reason I can do thief npc respawn and then it'll respawn all of them at the proper location 
uh, another thing that I can do is I can um, I can also do thief yeah yeah I can do thief NPC delete which will delete all of the locations and remove the entity so if we say go over here he's gone and if I try to do thief NPC respawn he won't come back and then all right let's create new areas let's put one here again and here again thief NPC save and then I can disconnect from the server and I can rejoin. And so now I'm back. Now, if we go over here, you can see that he's there. That he's, and that this guy is here as well. And you can still perform all the normal stuff like Thief NPC respawn. He'll come back here. Thief NPC delete. And he's gone. So that's it.